We are back and new this morning. Good morning, America is honoring some local nurses for National Nurses Appreciation Week. One of them is almost 100 years old. Her grandson did the same thing and awesome for all the nurses at Shriners Hospital here. That's where we find ABC 10's Marcus Allen this morning on this beautiful day. Uh, tell us what's being done for the hospital for the staff here. It's a beautiful thing, and yeah, it all started with that one grandson wanting to honor his grandmother, who's a retired nurse, formerly here at Shriners. However, it benefited all the nurses in a big way. Take a look. I realized that every good thing that happened to me was helped by the support and generosity of others. That's Brian Siliakos on Good Morning America last December, announcing his plans to complete 30 acts of kindness as he was turning 30 one of which was to tribute nurses in honor of his 97-year-old grandmother, a former Shriners nurse. And we have Roxy Diaz at Shriners Children's Northern California in Sacramento right now. Fast forward to this week, Good Morning America live at Shriners Sacramento, helping him do that in a big way. We are celebrating National Nurses Week. They awarded him with a plaque that will permanently honor his grandmother's service, but also gave the entire staff of nurses Hydro Flask and Grey's Anatomy inspired scrubs. What an amazing day. Yeah, oh my gosh, incredible. B bigger than I ever imagined it could be. I mean, it started off literally just emailing the director of this hospital, letting them know that my grandma was a nurse here and I want to give back. What do you think? I see that she goes above and beyond as a nurse. They also honored a Sacramento nurse, Erica Macias, nominated by her manager, Robert Tolbert, who got to announce the surprise on live TV. And this is something, just like my son said, he'll hear about it at every family reunion as long as I can remember this moment. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. <laughs> None. <laughs> okay, talk about your journey. What led you into nursing? So, um, like, I grew up in the foster system. My siblings, there's five of us all together, so um, it was just important to me to be a role model to them, to show them that they don't have to be the situation that we came from and we can be anything we want to be. I love that. Beautiful sentiment. You can be anything you want to be. Uh, Erica was telling me that one of her foster siblings needed extra care. There was a nurse on staff and watching that nurse in action, that's inspiring her to go on to become a nurse herself. So we're so thankful she did. Congratulations to all the nurses inside there. So next time you're at Shriners, if you see them wearing Grey's Anatomy scrubs, you'll know the origin of that. Uh, and also just thank all of the nurses everywhere. You, you know, Walt, as I stand here looking across the street from Shriners, I'm looking straight straight at UC Davis Burn Center, and that's where my son was treated by some nurses that indeed saved his life. So deep in my heart, much affection for the nurses. Thank you to the nurses everywhere who give your life each and every day for those patients. Back to you. Well done. Great story. I, I think we're all feeling overwhelmed with positivity after seeing that, Mark. So uh, thank you uh, on this beautiful morning.